Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to get better FPS and stop texture loss in 5M. It's actually relatively simple and easy. All you got to do is follow along. So first things first, we're going to clear some cache. To do this, we're going to do it from our 5M install directory. So to find that, just go to the search bar in Windows and search for 5M. Right click on it and open file location. It's going to take you to a shortcut. We're going to do pretty much the same thing. We're going to right click on that shortcut and open file location once more. Go into this folder right here, 5M application data, just double click. And then from here, go inside of the data folder. From here, you guys will see, it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory. We have three cache folders, this one, this one, and this one. So control and left click cache, control and left click server cache, and control and left click server cache priv. Simply delete that folder. Now, if you haven't cleared your cache in a long, long time, or ever, that's actually going to be maybe over a couple of gigabytes, which obviously fills up your computer and also is going to be slowing down your game as it's going to be trying to load in all this cache. It's going to cause quite a few issues, especially texture loss. And also make sure you clear your actual Windows update cache. So just go into settings and just go in to your storage settings. So when you come to storage, just click show more categories, look for the temporary file section, click into that one and make sure you clear your downloads and your recycle bin and all of these right here, the Windows updates, the clean updates, literally everything. Once you guys have done that, we've cleared our 5M cache, we're gonna load in game. I'm gonna show you a couple of settings to enable and disable. Okay, so if we load into the 5M menu and just go over to settings right here, go over to game. And this, if you guys have maybe not the best performing PC, I would always make sure just to be in the update channel release version. I'm in beta so I can get early access and free access to EUP. But if you guys don't need to do that and you're playing other people's servers, just go to the update channel of release. It's going to be nice and smooth and stable and probably no graphics issues. But you guys will see there's also a couple settings here which helps fix some graphics issues. So right here, this one right here, fix UI lag at high GPU usage but may cause reliability issues with GPU crashes. Sometimes this can help, sometimes it can't. I'd always recommend turning this on and off, loading it in game giving it a little bit of trial and error and seeing if that helps you. Same with all of these. They're there for a reason. You can try them out. They don't work for everyone. For me, I find my PC performs a little bit better without them on, so I keep them off. I've got an RTX 4070 Ti Super, if you guys want to know and compare. But from here, what you guys want to do, just connect to a 5M server, any 5M server. And we're going to go through a couple of crucial graphic settings in game. I'm going to show you guys a couple of graphic settings to enable and disable in order to get better fps and no texture loss you guys can see here i have pretty good graphics running with my rtx 4070 ti super and it does look really good and i don't actually have everything on max to your surprise so a couple of basic settings we need to change that will make a huge difference to your fps performance go to settings go to graphics and come right here these guys are what we want to lower as much as possible. Population, population density, lower that all the way. doesn't make a difference in graphics, but it makes a big difference in FPS and texture loss. Population verity, lower that down all the way as well. Pretty much the same reason as population density. Distance scaling, I wouldn't mess with that too much because if you lower that, you're going to make it look pretty foggy and blurry ahead of you and you will probably notice it. So if you need to lower that a little bit, just keep an eye on your video memory right here. Lower it only a tad because lowering it anymore, you will notice a big difference in graphics quality. This video is sponsored by my new website, hdnetwork.1, your one-stop shop for all your 5M server needs. We offer 5M server hosting to make sure you guys can keep your 5M server running 24 seven and not put your IP address on display for the public to see. And we also offer pre-built 5M server packages where using the exclusive HD Network application, you can make a fully modded 5M server with 120 plus mods in just one click. You can check all of that out down in the description below by using the link www.hdnetwork.1 Extended texture budget, this one is a great thing 5M has added recently. If you can afford to with your video memory at the top and you have a good amount of VRAM, raise that all the way. This makes it so you get a lot less texture loss because your graphics card can assign more of your VRAM, more of the textures to the game than it otherwise would have normally because 5M is a little bit higher demanding than your standard GTA. In terms of all of these settings, you don't actually need to have them on very high or ultra. You guys can see not everything is on ultra or very high. I would lower these down to high. Before I had this graphics card, I had something a little bit worse and I put everything on high and I was still getting tons of comments asking what my graphics were. Lower these to high. Trust me, it doesn't make a difference in terms of your graphics, but it will make a big difference in your FPS and your texture loss. And then if you come on down a little bit, 
things that are important is usually this guy right here. Any graphics mods will not work on anything below. So for me with NVE, if I put it on below very high and I put it on high, the actual shaders that NVE comes with will not work. And then the last thing I'd recommend doing is if you go into your advanced graphics right here, I'd make sure that these are just disabled. These can make a huge FPS difference. The reason why it's in advanced graphics is because not many people need to touch them. Turn these off. You don't need long shadows, you don't need high resolution shadows, you don't need high detail streaming while flying, and you certainly don't need extended distance scaling. Turn these off, turn these down, you do not need it at all. Now in terms of suggestions for graphics mods which you guys might need, depending on if you have a lower end PC, if you need a lower end graphics mod which still looks really good, I recommend looking at Visual Vanilla. This guy right here, I'll leave a link down in the description below. This is a really really good 5M graphics mod and it's not intensive at all and it still looks pretty good. The last free graphics mod I'd recommend using, which is really not too much of an impact on your FPS, is Reshade. Reshade's great. It works on tons of different games, not just GTA 5. It literally is not using any of the FPS. It's pretty much all just based on your screen. It doesn't really affect any actual in-game settings, but it can make a huge difference. You can up contrast and things like that, and it will make a big difference to your games. You can also get presets of GTA5mods.com. I got this one from there, and it makes a big difference to my graphics. Any of the graphics mods that I suggested, I will leave a link down in the description below. And also be sure to check my channel for tutorials on how to install them. They're relatively easy to install. If you guys did find this video useful, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And be sure to check out my new website, hdnetwork.1, down in the description below where you can get 5M server hosting and set up a 5M server just like this with custom phones, custom inventories and everything and custom notifications, all this jazz for literally a one-time payment maximum of $45. And you can install it all automatically using the HD Network Auto Install application. I'll see all of you guys in the next video.